Hi, this is Ben from EnglishPhotographer.com. I'm in Barcelona by the very, very famous fountain that uh, people go to when FC Barcelona wins, which is quite often. Now, it's said here that when you drink the water from this fountain, you'll stay in Barcelona forever. And that might be true, you're going to stay a little bit longer than normal because the water tastes particularly bad. I don't think it's actually a real serious thing. What is serious though is the image quality on these two cameras. The Sigma DP3 mirror, which is brand new, and the Sigma DP1 mirror, which is a little bit older, but still pretty recent. They have the X3 Fovion sensor, which is phenomenal. It's incredibly high quality and it's got a very special arrangement with three layers to capture the red, green and blue contingents of the colour. That means, in practice, that the image quality from these little tiny cameras rivals cameras that are worth thousands more and are much bigger. We're going to find out if the DP3 mirror with longer 50mm lens is the best of the three. All of the Merrill series are great street cameras, so we're going to be using them out and about in Barcelona. We'll also drop in with some footage from the workshops that I do. So a bit more about the actual sensor in these cameras. It's a Fovion, invented by a guy called Dick Merrill and his engineering team. The thing about the Fovion sensor is that it's got three layers to capture individual colours, the red, green and the blue, whereas a standard Bay Array has got one layer and then actually interpolates the data, makes sort of some sort of very complicated arrangement and ends up actually falsifying some of the colours and creating these jagged edges, uh, artefacts as well like moi, whereas these cameras just don't have it, you know, it's very very clear even at a pixel level, you zoom into 100% and you've got what looks like a, a pretty sharp photograph, whereas on a normal camera it's going to be slightly smudgy. This is excellent and it allows the cameras to be excellent. As we can see here, most cameras really struggle with fur because of the fine texture, not so the DP3 Merrill. Even zoomed right in, it's still sharp, clear, and the highlights are fine. There's no moi. But enough pixel peeping. What we're going to do now is just uh, join the workshop in Barcelona, where we're experimenting with a bit of street photography. First of all, with a particularly small camera, using the flash for some interesting results. And then, with the Sigma DP3 mirror, which is actually hanging by my side at the moment. Look at it in a second, here we go. Because of the smaller size, it's less intimidating, and therefore less daunting for the subjects on the street. It allows you to keep the eye contact, and get more spontaneous reactions without hiding behind a viewfinder. That said, the autofocus is not as good as a pro DSLR, but fast enough. And the flash photographs with the Merrill series, because of the high sync speed of 1 2000 a second, are very good. The longer telephoto, short telephoto lens, allows you to isolate detail. I'm going to engage in some interesting perspectives, as here. Though in truth, for street photography, I found that getting closer was actually much more preferable. And for this I used the DP1 mirror, which has a 19mm, which is a 28mm full frame lens. Obviously the same APS-C sensor. It allows you to get a bit closer and get photographs like this where you feel more engaged with the scene. And onto a church. So if you're on a rooftop of a church, which I am, I don't know, I could actually get up here, but I have, which is excellent, and you're photographing the scene, using a wide angle lens, generally you'll get everything in, but the things in your picture are gonna be quite small and therefore quite boring. With a telephoto lens, which is effectively what this uh, DP3 has, you can actually zoom in on the details that matter. And if you need to, then create a panorama stitch which is going to be excellent because you've got a higher resolution in all because you can get more images in the stitch using this telephoto lens in the Sigma DP3M. So this angle of view is from the DP1M with the 28mm equivalent lens. The detail is incredible. And this is from the DP3, zoomed a lot in with the 75mm equivalent lens. The Sigma DP3 Merrill is also great for the countryside. 
because it's very small and light and I can carry it without a second thought, something I can't say about some of the larger and bulkier cameras that I use every day. But with this one, I don't forego any image quality either as the Foveon X3 sensor delivers these amazing quality results. The lens on the Sigma DP3 is designated as a macro lens, 50 millimeters, 75 equivalent on full frame. And while it's not a true macro lens, in the sense of the word as being one-to-one, -one, it does give a cropped-in view of the world that allows me to get those textures and details in the forest that might be of interest. A lot of my fine art photography is actually still done on film. Ilford's Pan F50, to be precise, through our Hasselblad and Zeiss lenses. It's a very slow process, laborious and meditative. It takes me about a month to take 12 photographs, but each one will be a keeper because I've really thought about what I'm trying to achieve before I press the shutter. Now, if you look at the Sigma Merrill series, they look like compact cameras. And compact cameras generally for digital are like snatch, snatch, grab, take lots of photographs and hope for the best. If you expect that sort of experience from the Merrill series, you'll be disappointed. However, if you imagine the Merrill series as like a medium format camera that is much more convenient, free to take the photographs, no scanning, no getting rid of dust and scratches, it's incredibly easy to use and much more precise. When I use this one, I can actually check the focus much better than I can on a Hasselblad. I can stitch images together, I can do all sorts of other things that with a Hasselblad would be um, unachievable. And therefore, instead of thinking about this camera as the compact camera it seems to be in form factor, try and consider it as the detail king, the real methodical meditative camera that gives you those great results if you put the effort in. Okay, so I've been comparing the uh, Pentax 645D with the DP Merrill series. Now, this is a medium format digital, and this one is a APS-C compact. So how do they compare? Well, this, is a lot, this one's a lot more expensive. This one's um, expensive, but not that expensive. But the image quality, hmm. Well, this one's got the new Foveon sensor. And even though it's a smaller sensor, the actual 100% pixel basis is really good. This one, it's got 40 megapixels, and so the photograph straight out of the camera will print up very, very large. This one, you can actually get comparable image quality if you take the time to stitch images together. Now that rules out street photography because you can't really photograph somebody and make a photo stitch panorama. However, and when you're using landscapes or architecture, this can give you comparable image, comparable image quality for a cheaper price. So I'm using these cameras in low light now and when I've said during the day that you should use a tripod because you're going to get much sharper results with the high resolution sensor, in the night you have to use a tripod because these cameras are particularly bad in low light. I say this for three reasons. The first of all, the lenses are quite slow, it's f2.8 right the way through the range and relative to the other cameras, the uh, f2.8 isn't particularly fast, especially for a prime lens. Now secondly, the cameras haven't got stabilization either in the lens or in the body and that means that when you use 2.8 you really have to be very braced to make sure you get a sharp photograph and thirdly the, the high ISO capabilities aren't particularly good uh, relative to other cameras you can use 1600 and you're going to find a lot of noise a lot of chroma and all of that sort of thing ruining the image quality use it at 100 or 200 and it's going to be fine 400 passable but generally to get best results with these cameras, which is what you really want to use them for, you'll be using Mr. Tripod. Now, one bonus point for this is because the cameras are so small, you can use a much smaller, lighter and more compact tripod. Now, that's a blessing and uh, very welcome when you're carrying it for a long period of time. This was taken on a tripod, for example. A really small, light tripod that normally shakes about a bit, but not here. For some strange reason, the Merrill series are limited to 30 seconds as an exposure, but don't have a bulb mode. This, especially for long exposure photography, is a bit inconvenient, and it's a strange emission. Perhaps it's to do with the noise reduction, I'm not sure, and there is an interval timer that allows you to stack exposures together, but this will be a very useful firmware fix. So, in low light, these cameras aren't particularly competitive, unless you get them on a tripod, at which point you can use smaller lighter tripods, and that's a good thing. So out of all the cameras on the market at the moment, I think the Merrill series are among my favourites. They're small, light, well made, really well thought out for photographers, and they deliver the best image quality for the best price in the smallest package available. I recommend them wholeheartedly.
and the DP3M with its longer 50mm lens allows you to get more images in a panoramic stitch, giving you higher resolution and overall better quality, so I really recommend it. I'm Ben at EnglishPhotographer.com. I've been comparing all of the Merrill series, so have a look at EnglishPhotographer.com for more details when I compare the three. If you'd like to help Hiroma with her filmmaking projects, you can buy an audiobook or an ebook at Photography, The Few Things You Need to Know at GreatBigBear.com. I will give all the proceeds to her, and then she can make a microphone, and there'll be better sound in future videos. Thanks so much.